Welcome to Cosmetic Networks Live, where we explore the aesthetic and the cosmetic industry from the inside out. Hi, I'm your host, Sheila Maitland, and this is episode 66 for Wednesday, January 29th, 2014. Our very special guest today is Dr. Robert Fields, a cosmetic dentist. Welcome, Dr. Fields. Thank you so much, Sheila. We're so glad you're here, and I want to first start out by you sharing the details of what inspired you to be a cosmetic dentist. Well, you know, we grew up uh, in, in Burbank uh, many years ago, of course, and there was not a lot of money. Um, if you didn't take care of your teeth, you were in trouble. And it was a smile I realized early on is just so very, very important. Um, when you look at people, when people look at you, they see two things. They see eyes and they see teeth. And it was just very important to me that we should all look as good as we possibly can. I would have to totally agree with that. And as um, part of your next story that I want you to share, I was so inspired when you told me about your newest, latest hobby of just starting to take piano lessons six months ago. Share with us the details of that. What inspired you to do that? Well, let me give you a tiny bit of background. Growing up in okay. Burbank, um, I liked working with my hands. We built model airplanes. We built them at that time, mm -hmm. carving them out of balsa wood. I always loved working with my hands. And once we, once we did that, um, things kind of fell into place. I decided this is, this is a pretty good, pretty good thing. So I get into dentistry, graduate from USC, and always kind of enjoy working with my hands. So about six months ago, it occurred to me, we have this beautiful piano sitting in my family room, and all it is is a player piano. Shouldn't I learn how to play that? So six months ago, I started piano lessons and am enjoying it. I take a lesson every single Thursday night. I practice, maybe not as much as some of the younger students, but I practice and I enjoy my time uh, thus far. Well, that is, that's just beautiful. That's a great story. You know, and that rolls into just your total heart about the things that you love to do. And I'd like to talk about the charity you're involved with. Um, Children of the Night, can you share with us how you got involved with that and what inspired that whole entire process? I will certainly be glad to do so. Half a block from our office is a beautiful Spanish-style building, which used to be the Van Nuys Main Courthouse. But for the last 25 years, it has become what is called Children of the Night. Children of the Night, founded by Dr. Lois Lee, focuses on children on the streets all over this country who have no place to go, Many of them are on drugs. Many of them are doing uh, all, all sorts of illicit business on the street. And um, they're lost souls. And some of them are 14, 15, 17 years of age. Uh, they often run into trouble with the police. The police and other social agencies often call Dr. Lois Lee to come and get them and bring them to her facility, uh, Children of the Night, here in Van Nuys. Lois's task is to rehabilitate these children, to redirect their lives, to become happy, uh, productive human beings, get them into school, keep them in school, and of course establish a level of health as well. Uh, we do the dental end. It is a joy and delight to help these children out. They are so grateful when you know you can give them a smile, a missing front tooth, a broken tooth, restore their back teeth so they don't have any pain. Um, it's just it's just a feel-good thing and just such a small thing to do for your community and for these children. 